Welcome to the hardest part of my day, which is honestly backing out of my driveway. You're about to hear the bells and whistles go off every two seconds, but it gets easier the more you do it. That makes you think you're going to hit something, but you ain't going to hit nothing. Seriously, I am blocked in every which way from this construction. <clears throat> I never know which way to go. So, one of the main reasons I got a big old vehicle, if I have to run through some construction zones, I'll run through some... Damn, that looks nice. I'm not going to drive over that new pavement yet. Oh my goodness. They have it paved in, and I'm not going to use it just yet. What a beautiful day. Oh man, just figured it out. I just got paid for last week today, and disappointing they didn't pay me for my jury duty service so yeah you wake up and don't get what you want but you take the roof off your vehicle and everything's fine really. it'll all get fixed up it'll all get better man i should have went down that oh my goodness things are looking up Missed two days a week last week two days of work last week so man this check was boo boo bigger as soon as you drop whole bunch of money on a vehicle I just don't want to go to work it wasn't that I didn't want to go to work it was more along the lines I had to sit in as juror number 31 on a triple M case so that's not good but I got over it I took a the day off I had to go to court and then I took the day off after, because I can get to sleep, man. I got PTSD from that whole thing. I don't know how these people do it, but man, it's a beautiful day. My truck says it's 85 degrees, which is very beautiful. I haven't decided if I want to take the long way, long detour way, or actually smash through some roadblocks. Nice days like this. Woo wee. I'll probably just take the whole detour around, baby, because this is beautiful. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta sit back. Oh, this is paved too. Oh, I'm using it. Oh. Oh my. I just drove in a big square, but you know what? Oh my goodness. Ooh now we get a little off-roading right here. No big deal. Life is getting better. Wow. On my way to the gym. Today is back. Gonna hit my back. And cardio, of course cardio and back and then I'm gonna go to work I gotta take a nap then go to work do it again tomorrow and then it's my weekend baby I missed a day of work this week too <laughs> I really miss it's like if we have too much people the people get sent home and it was my turn to be able to go home yesterday or two days ago and I always take those. For me, time off of work is much more valuable than money. That could always change. But, yeah, I got tons of sleep. Work at midnight is, is not easy. I wouldn't say it's hard. It's as hard as you make it. As long as you don't stay in your head be like, oh, I got to get sleep, I got to sleep been looking at it as a challenge but like oh I could do this with three hours and somehow everything will balance itself out and it usually does it's worth it get 10% raise on your normal 10% pay increase so yeah let's say you're making 36 an hour add 10% to that 
360 means 40 bucks an hour. Pretty sweet. That's why I, I missed two days last week. Well, I was only supposed to have one last week, but I missed two, and they they didn't pay me for jury duty. So I got to go in hot tonight and be like, pointing at my palm, be like, where's my money? But this is the fun part of the trip. We get a little stretch of highway. Got some American muscle in front of me, Mustang, baby. Glad I didn't get a Mustang. They are pretty freaking awesome. But when it's snowing outside, and this thing will just plow through anything. It really is, man. When it's nice outside, you can take your roof off. Shit, ain't too much that could get you down. I looked at this is my first trashiest check I've ever had there. And uh I used to only make like 17 bucks an hour. And this was uh oh man, I can't they never did this one to me before, but Hopefully we get it straightened out. I'm not worried about it too much. But uh, I'll take every opportunity to stop at a red light. This thing, this thing guzzles gas. It's a thirsty baby. It is a thirsty baby. That's why I'm so glad I, I have my Fusion. My Fusion is wonderful on gas. So that's my go-to work vehicle. I'll drive this to work. Wednesdays and Fridays, let's say, I'll drive. Two days a week. And the Fusion, the rest. I gotta go get her oil change this weekend. I love that car, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I want that car forever. That was beautiful. I needed a car back when I was struggling. And I bought her, and you know what? She loved it. You know what is also I love about they find this weird, but it's hot outside. I love the heated seats in this thing. Man, it's so therapeutic because I have a bad my butt and my lower back, my knees, just my whole lower chakra, base chakra is gets out of whack easy and this heat. Ooh wee. I mean, it makes for sweaty butt, but it feels so good and it's not bothering me as which I like. It's not bothering me at all, it feels good. I'm having the time of my life last, right now. Not getting paid, rolling up to the gym. Do I get a pull through? No pull through. But I got a front row seat front row spot baby yeah front row spot still awkward parking but it is what it is we are here there's no one in the back seat bud you can come out It was a recording and it was playing my music. That's awesome. But, uh, I made this far. I love you. And I will see you in the next one.